Hi, it's Sandy Parker. I welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today I'm going to show you ways to make your own Wink of Stella. I hope you'll stay tuned. Well, I think we've all seen Wink of Stella markers, and if you haven't, let me kind of fill you in. I bought this set on Amazon a while ago, and they make uh, a glitter, a glittery ink. And a lot of people just get the clear and it's fine if you just like clear because that's great but I wanted more you know color more substance in mine and so I'll just take one of mine out and show you how what what you end up with what you get when you get these is you get a very uh, metallic sparkly beautiful background and there are a lot of ways to get this. The easiest way, obviously, is with a marker. But these are these come at a cost. And if you have some of the supplies I'm going to show you, then you shouldn't have to go to any expense to make it and replicate it for yourself. So let's get into some options for you. The first thing that you can use, and this is in no particular order as far as how I like the, the different... Um, option versus another. What I've done is I've taken this little water or uh, color, water coloring palette and I've just put a little bit of water in some of the wells. First thing we're going to use is a metallic marker and I'm just going to put some of it in there. You could use a metallic watercolor marker on its own but if you do that it's going to be pretty uh, opaque you won't be able to see through it as much as with Wink of Stella and keep in mind Wink of Stella is just there I'm trying to figure out which one has my water in is just there to basically make it so that the color is there but it's more the glitter that is the is the star of the show so let's see if I can by just putting a little bit of water in it We'll let that dry, but it's it's um, just marker with water, but it's a metallic water marker, and it's a water-based marker. It's not um, an alcohol marker. I thought about trying stickles with it and just diluting that, so we're gonna try it because you know you gotta try everything once, right? So I'm just gonna squirt some stickles, <clears throat> excuse me, into one of these little wells, and this is. I don't even know if they make this color anymore. It's called lavender. Probably do, but, you know, just making sure. This has built-in glitter. If you're not familiar with stickles, it is a glitter glue, basically. You should be able to get it at basically any big box store. And this, when I diluted this, the purple background color kind of fades out, but you still get the sparkle but it's not, you can't really see the purple as much. I wasn't sure if it would work or not. Let me get a marker and write on these which one which one is which so we know. Some next, next idea, and this is um, a product that you'd have to have, obviously, and that is, it's called Liquid Metals by Ken Oliver, and it is a very um, glittery, metallic, wet medium. It's very, very, very thick, so you don't use hardly any. I mean, it's, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of pigment in it, so you don't want to use a lot. And I'm trying to get the stickles off my brush, because, you know, we don't want that on there. Okay. So, here's the Ken Oliver. It's very metallic when it dries. Might not be metallic right now. And I don't even know if he makes this anymore. Make sure I get a lot of it on there. Wait for that one to dry. The thing about these options is they are very um, opaque. So we have to find one that isn't as opaque. This is Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigment and it's called Marigold and it's a really pretty color of a goldish tone. Okay, so I put some of his marigold, which I explained is a golder pigment, and it is more, I would say, like um, 
like a wink of Stella because you can see through it. Of course, you can see through the stickles, but I'll put that on. And again, I don't know if they make this anymore. I bought it a couple years ago. This is Brutus Monroe. I bought some pigment from AliExpress, and it was, I think it's used for nails. I mixed this AliExpress pigment, the used for nails, I mixed it with some gum arabic so the gum arabic would hold it you know it would keep it attached to um, a surface it's it's um something you use to make watercolors but anyway that's what i used i com i combined the aliexpress nail pigment with gum arabic and then i let it dry down in this little pot and it's really metallic as you can see but it doesn't leave a consistent line, which you kind of, I think, would want with this. Next, I'm just going to put down mica powder. Mica powder with water will work, but you'd need to spray a, a sealant on it. I have this fly that's making me absolutely crazy. You want to make sure that you dis dilute it in water or alcohol, but then there's nothing that's going to keep it on your surface like a gum arabic if you wanted to make sure that you could keep it on your surface you'd mix gum arabic with it and basically create a watercolor the thing that's neat about this is it should be much more transparent than the other things hopefully we'll give it a whirl and i just got my brush on my thing and my mica powders came from the hippie crafter which is, oh, these are really vibrant colors. I love these. If you've never seen me use them, I, I think very highly of their colors because they're very bright, well pigmented. And again, if you really want this to adhere, you could mi mix it with some gum arabic and that would do a nice job of um, making it stick to your project. So that would be the mica powder and water. Then, if you're going to go that direction, you might as well go all out and go to your metallic watercolors. This set of metallic watercolors is from Hobby Lobby. It was like $4 and um, it, it's well pigmented. I'm going to use that bright blue so we can see if we can get it to um, be um, transparent enough. The more water you add to it, the less vibrant it's going to be and the less opaque it's going to be. But let's just give it a whirl and see if we can get some good pigment from it. Oh, get out of the way. I don't think I uh, did a good job of cleaning my brush even though I thought I did because it's turning a gray color which would be what it would be when the red gets together with the blue. It is nice and um, transparent, which is what we want if you're going to make a Wink of Stella pen. I'll get the name of these so that you have them. You always want to keep these open when you um, when they're wet so they don't get moldy. Yasumoto, Yasutomo. And these are watercolors. And I got them at Hobby Lobby, but I'm sure they probably sell them other places. All right. And then I'm going to show you the best way to make um, not just a metallic Wink of Stella, but a colored Wink of Stella too. This product is called Liquitex Professional Iridescent Medium. It is a clear medium. This is a great product. It's probably my favorite thing to get anything with sparkle in it, and you can use it. It's so versatile especially for things like this. I think my brush is clean now. I'm just talking and cleaning my brush. Okay, so let me show it to you by itself. And again, you don't need much of this, and if I was you, I would shake it before you use it because that will make all the sparkle go to the surface. I have way too much here, but we're just gonna, we're gonna do a few things, so I'll just show it to you. This is what we will call Plain Wink of Stella. Now you can imagine how many markers you would get out of this, Wink of Stella markers, if you were going to do it. You could take um, kids markers that are really, uh, that have like a tube with watery 
substance in them. I can't remember who made those, but it might have been Crayola. But anyway, if you took one of those, can you see that sparkle? This is so simple to do. If you took one of those markers and just added a few drops of this liquid, of this iridescent medium and shook it, you would have a really great Wink of Stella pen. But I'm going to take mine a step further because in my set of Wink of Stella markers, I don't have bright red and it's always bugged me that I don't have bright red. So I thought while we were doing this that I would make myself one that makes me happy. So I'm going to take a water brush and I have water in it. I don't know if I have too much water in it, but I have water that's filled to about there. Sorry about my nails. I painted them today and the nail polish was eaten off. It's OPI, you know, you'd think that would last, but it did not. All right, I'm going to use this product that's on my paper. And I'm just going to kind of tap it down in there. And then I'm going to shake it once I put it together. But I don't have red, as I said. And red for Christmas coming up is important. So I'm going to take a Stampin' Up! Reinker. This is real red. I don't even know if that color is still made because... I bought my uh, Stampin' Up! inks uh, second hand and I bought them for the most part after they were no longer made. But I think this is one of their staple colors because it's a Christmas red. But I might be lying. I don't know. I'm trying to just put, I think I put maybe two drops, maybe three drops in there. But we're going to put the lid on that because you know I'll get that everywhere. So, here is, in the end, it's still wet, but hopefully if I tilt this in the light right, you'd be able to see the sparkles. Maybe that light right there. Can you see all those sparkles in there? I put the plain on the right and the red on the left. And then I thought what I would do is flip this piece over and show you. I made a Wink of Stella clear one so that I would be able to, if I wanted to just... I couldn't find my clear Wink of Stella marker. You know how that happens where you have system, but you can't figure out where everything is. Let's see if I can get more to come out. I think we'll have to let that dry before you can see whether it's metallic or not. Wait for a second for that one. I just made that one. I don't know if it takes a while to get ready or not. And then this is the red. You can definitely see the sparkle in that. There it is with more. I want to make sure you saw that it, it is. I made it a red. It's kind of a cherry red. It's not as red as I want it to. But even with it just being wet, you should be able to see all those sparkles in there. And next to, let me wink of Stella next to it so you can see the difference. These, these are really super wet, as I said. That's the Wink of Stella marker in the kind of aqua color. And then beside it is mine. You can see the sparkle in both. Hopefully you can. I can. My white one is still working up, working its steam up. But those are the ways that I made Wink of Stella. I made it. The metallic marker, I have to say, is the biggest failure of all. The AliExpress nail uh, pigment I gotta, I gotta say, let me turn these to the light so you can see them. It is a uh, color changing in case you wondered about that. It's like a gray and then a reddish color. And you can definitely see that when you tilt it in the light. And then the Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigment, it's very, very um, pigmented and it's, you could see through it, which is nice. The Ken Oliver Liquid Metals, it's probably more opaque than the others, this green. The mica powder, it does a nice job, but it's going to always be kind of a diluted look unless you really pump it up. And then if you really put a lot in there, then you're going to have a little bit of a darker scenario. The, this is the Yasutomo watercolors. It's more of a metallic rather than sparkly. I don't know if you can see the metallic in it, but it's more metallic than it is sparkly. Whereas these other ones are more sparkly than they are metallic. And then, oh, and the stickles at the top, you have the glitter in the stickles, which 
you know, is the sparkle, but it isn't consistent. It's just it, where the where the glitter lays. And you want Wink and Stella is an all over sheen. Hopefully that you can see that in these. And honestly, of the options, I like this, as I said before, I like this Liquitex iridescent medium because it's easy to use and you get a ton of it and you could make whatever colors. And I think you could even, if you have a uh, Wink of Stella markers, I think you should be able to refill them with this and some kind of color if yours are colored. But um, I really think it does a nice job. The You can see on the right side that is just using it on its own and that's a really thick coat because I had a lot on my, on my uh, piece of paper so there's a lot there but it's very, very sparkly. And then the red is the one I made. And I think it, I think it's sparkly. So I'm ready for Christmas. I hope this gave you some ideas so that you can save some money versus buying Wink of Stella, that you could either refill your Wink of Stella's with the Liquidex uh, iridescent medium, or maybe use uh, one of these if you have them on hand. That AliExpress nail pigment was very inexpensive. It was like 70 cents maybe, but it's only one color and it's, um, again, it's a color changing. It's purple and brown. They had other colors, but um, I just bought it as an experiment because I wanted to play with it because it was fun to do on, on um, projects. So I hope you enjoyed this and that you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe and please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.